Hey folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Gran Turismo. Last time I took my Cerbera LM edition out, won a championship, now I have the Dodge Concept car, and I can get into it. I can get into this, folks, really. Now, question is, it has 560 horsepower, which is pretty darn good. Can I get any more out of it? Can I tune it up? Can I slap a turbo on it? No, you can't slap a turbo on it. That's silly. I'm being silly. Can I do any tuning to it? No, I can't do any of that stuff. I can't get it a computer. I can't buy it a muffler. What am I thinking? It's already ready already. It already has super soft racing tires. I can't racing modify this thing. Alright, so... That's all well and good. Um... It may be overkill here, but, uh... Maybe I should enter this car in the Clubman Cup. What do you say? It's, um... It requires advanced skills, though. I don't know if I have those. But, alright, it's... Oh, it's the full autumn ring. I don't think we've been to that place, have we? I don't think we have. Well, that'll be good for us. Go check out a race in the Autumn Ring. And, uh, showcase advanced skills. I got the feeling this car is gonna be like, um... Like, uh, what is, what is the, uh, metaphor I'm looking for here? Opening, uh, opening a can of soup with a brick. Let's look at the entry list here. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have brought a different car. This is just kind of mean. Matter of fact, it's so mean, I think I'm going to go ahead and start qualifying before I even test. Which is actually a big mistake, because... You can see here, it is a, uh, it is a circuit that uh, I haven't driven on during this LP. Also, this car has a very odd behavior of uh, attempting to stand up on two wheels. Whoa, and the brakes are pretty ridiculous. Yeah, you know, I never really did take the uh, Dodge Concept car out very much when I used to play this game uh, years back, when it would have been a fairly new game. It was because of this thing where the analog controller is constantly shaking as I drive it. Maybe it uh, had something to do with... Um, the way the handling seems to be kind of goofy. Uh, but, uh... Definitely is fast. Can't, uh, deny that. I guess, yeah, I never really noticed until I was looking at facts. I was looking at facts earlier to make sure... I couldn't remember for sure whether all the championships gave me more than one car. Um, and so I was looking at a fact to see which, uh, you know championships gave you cars and stuff like that and of course when you're in there you can also look and find out okay turning is really good but then if you keep turning the car will fairly readily uh, get on uh, 
two wheels. That seems like a potential deficiency. Yeah, like it's really eager to hunker in and turn for like uh maybe the first maybe for like the first moment or two of uh travel, especially with your uh well, I would say foot on the gas, but obviously thumb on the X button. Or however it is that you control the game. I basically I'm using um, the uh, default controls from the original game because that is uh, what I used to begin with. Um, there are probably better ways to control the game, actually. Especially if you have, like, a wheel or something like that. Uh, the fact that, um, the, the fact that all the controls in, uh, the game, especially the default control scheme, is all completely digital. There's no, like, fine adjustment. Like, basically, um, the controls are X button are press down on the gas pedal as hard as you possibly can. Square button is press down on the brake pedal as hard as you possibly can. Pressing the left part of the D-pad is wrench the wheel as far as you can in the left direction. And pressing right is wrench the wheel as far as you can in the right direction. So, let's see where that might be an issue. Um, but of course this was the first game, um, <coughs> and in PlayStation 1, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly certain for PlayStation 1, they didn't make any games that you just pl flat out couldn't play without having analog controls. <coughs> it was pretty much until, uh, PlayStation 2 that you got into them deciding, no, you really should just be using the little, uh, the little crazy toggle thingies. watching those numbers uh, as we accelerate along, right? Yeah, we're going to get pole position here because this is all about power and we have like maybe two to three hundred horsepower more than any other car in this uh, championship. Yeah. This car has like twice the horsepower of some of these others, I think. If I were to go back and check again. We may end up using the Dodge Concept car for... Uh, other more advanced circuits later on. I believe I've had I've 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 read at least one place that this is probably the best car to try and use for the uh, <coughs> for the hard tuned championship, at least as it comes straight out of the box. Even after that long, lurid slide, I believe there's still some daylight on the, like, map screen between me and the uh, next car in line. Eh, yeah, it's kind of unfair. But, uh, that's pretty much what this game is about.
That wasn't quite the right way to take that, but uh, that's okay. We're going to win a championship, folks. <sighs> We're probably going to get the running, 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 like nobody will have crossed the finish line. Oh, one car did. That Impreza is a pretty good car, though. Maybe I should have taken the Impreza that I won from the uh, normal car championship and uh, gotten it nicely prepped for this. Could have taken the SVX and souped it up nice. Well, you know. No regrets. That's true, folks. I uh, try and go by that philosophy, actually. No regrets, because honestly, if I regretted something, that would mean that... Uh, I, or, I mean, I can't regret anything, because I like where I am right now in my life. And uh, I would not be where I am in my life if... Uh, Everything hadn't built up to this moment. That's right, this moment. Of playing Gran Turismo, playing a 15-year-old video game at almost 3 in the morning so that I can post it on the internet so the people I've never met will uh, potentially tell me about uh, what's going on with their lives. What's going on with your lives, folks? I know, it's a very odd moment of a personal life philosophy. Um, the car just stuck. I sometimes don't understand what is up with this car. And when I say sometimes, I mean generally don't understand what is up with this car. I know that it's fast, though. Much faster than any of the other cars in this championship, so can't complain too uh, mightily. So, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, and I have a bit of life philosophy there. Sorry, folks, if that uh, blew your minds or something or made you very sad <laughs> uh, it's funsies folks it's funsies Gran Turismo is funsies don't let anyone tell you otherwise that's what Gran Turismo is Somebody tells you Gran Turismo is something other than funsies, they're trying to sell you something, you should probably back away. Ouch. Hurry up. What do you think this is, funsies? Get moving again. Oh man, number two in this championship is a station wagon. That's flippin' awesome. That's one of the things I kind of like about Gran Turismo 2, actually. Why can I not accelerate any faster than this? I was pressing the X button as hard as I could. But, uh, yeah, one of the things about Gran Turismo is that they have all kinds of, uh, different, like, weird sort of niche championships. Like, there is a championship for station wagons. And, I mean, the obvious answer was to get a WRX station wagon and enter it, but I liked to be kind of contrarian. So I'd try and find, like, um... Mitsubishi had one or two good station wagons, like the Lignum VR4, I think, whatever it was called. It looked a lot like a Gallant. Don't know if it actually was.
Of course, what uh, a lot of people may or may not recall is uh, even before um, American audiences started warming to the idea of these, uh, you know, in like 2000 and the 2000s of these uh, crazy uh, souped up uh, Japanese all wheel drive turbocharged sports cars. Um, there was a lot of that sort of thing got made in the 80s. Um, Mitsubishi, uh, actually, I believe it was one of their rally homologation cars, even though rally wasn't a big deal in the U.S., but they sold the Mitsubishi Galant VR4 in the U.S. It was a, you know, it was like their four-door family sedan sort of thing, except it had crazy turbocharged engine in it and had all-wheel drive. Now, granted, cars with that much complicated, uh, mechanics and circuitry and that sort of thing tended to uh, be a little bit less reliable back in the 80s because, uh, you know, all-wheel drive systems and things like that oftentimes controlled by computers and, as you recall, computers of the 80s? Eh, not quite what you, uh, what you would call fancy pants, fancy dan stuff, you know? So, anyways, let's continue. We have won this the, uh, I forget if this was the Sunday Cup or the Clubman Cup. Whichever one we hadn't already won, we've won it now. We got a new car. A new car! <sighs> woo -hoo, New cars! I love new cars! Let's see what kind of car it is. And from there, we shall proceed. Hmm. Proceed. Hard tuned cars. Those cars are tuned pretty hard. Let's go to the garage here. We got the concept car. We have a 30th anniversary Camaro Z28. Nice looking. It's got uh, little stripes and stuff on it. Stripey doos. Pretty. Well, okay. Good to know. Um, I like it. Maybe we can find a job for it. Um, I might do that next time, I might not. Got, you know, some money if I felt like I needed to do some work on it before I, uh, gave it a job. Um, I could. Of course, I could also just, uh, go and browse for used cars and pick up something that way. I do enjoy doing that sort of thing as well. Or maybe by the next time I've done a video, I will have, uh, you know, leveled, not leveled up, but, you know, gotten around gotten some more money, I could buy another one of those crazy special edition cars. We saw how well that worked with the Impreza. Possibilities, folks. Anyways, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.